We all felt overwhelmed, that sense of not knowing what to do next. And you know what? It becomes normal, but it doesn't have to stay that way. I know how important passing the FE is to you and your career. And if you are feeling overwhelmed, then stay tuned because in this video, I have six steps that you can do right now to stop feeling overwhelmed so that you can focus on studying and pass your FE faster. Oh yeah, everybody now. My students always tell me about the struggles of feeling overwhelmed and why they get overwhelmed, which we discuss in this video here. But you have to remember that by getting overwhelmed, frustrated, and just powering through, you're not going to pass your FE faster. You will end up stressing and focusing on memorizing instead of understanding and getting stuck. I get it. This happens to me too. But what if this could be easier? The first thing I'd like to do is brain dump. Grab a notebook and a pencil and start writing down everything that you have to do right now. Include everything that is stuck on your mind and causing you to feel overwhelmed. I did this yesterday and I filled up an entire page. Now that you have your list, number them from the most important to the least important and then highlight the first three and focus on those. When I do this, everything becomes clear, my goals are back to center focus and I know how to move forward. Now, the other stuff on your list may just need to be moved to the future. They're not your priority right now and you can't afford to spend time worrying about them. Or maybe it's time to ask someone for help. Also, think about setting boundaries when you use social media and emails because you do have ambitious goals and you deserve to reach them. Step two, study material. I know we talk a lot about study material in this channel, partly because we do offer amazing FE courses, but also because it's really important when it comes to passing the FE exam faster. Study material can either help you pass or help you fail. Let's say you have a study material that only gives you practical problems. It doesn't really help you understand the concepts and you're not really making progress. This would leave you feeling overwhelmed. But let's say you have a good material where you are learning a lot. You're going to feel less anxious because you are making progress and you're going to feel ready to take your FE exam. The other thing you have to pay attention to when it comes to study material is to make sure that you focus on quality and not quantity. There are a lot of FE study material out there and just because you're doing a thousand problems, it doesn't mean you are doing the right problems. Make sure that the material that you are using is relevant to the FE. Because remember, if you study what's on your exam, you will pass your FE exam. It is that simple. Not sure if your study material is relevant and working for you? Check out this list of eight questions to determine if your FE resources are helping you learn and pass faster. And if you want more FE tips, tricks, and problems, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. Step three, try to find a balance. If you're not getting enough sleep and if you're not exercising, you're not going to perform at your best, you're not going to learn as much, and you're not going to pass your FE exam faster. This can be simple and short. You can take a walk outside, do a 10-minute run, or just jump on your yoga mat. Whatever is your favorite way to exercise and move your body. You can also meditate for two minutes and just take a big deep breath. It might not sound like this is going to help, but trust me, you will feel different once you're done and you're ready to crush your goals. Step four, having a realistic expectations. If you have a family and you are working full time, you're not going to be able to study for 30 to 40 hours a week. That's just not realistic. And if you can't reach that goal, you're going to end up feeling overwhelmed. So instead, try to set out an hour a day during the week and five hours during the weekend. And if you do that for the next three months using the right study material, you'll be ready to pass your FE exam. It's all about staying consistent. Also, I know a lot of you want to pass your FE exam faster so that you can keep building your career. But the more you rush it, the more you're going to feel overwhelmed and the longer it will take you to pass your FE. I would suggest that you try to instead focus on learning and staying consistent. 
Step 5. Practice exams. If you use the practice exams as a checkpoint and not an endpoint, it will actually make you feel less overwhelmed. By taking the practice exams, you will be able to determine what you know, which will make you feel less anxious, and you will also determine your weaknesses, but you will have enough time to work on them. Now, if you want to know which practice exams to take and how to use them to help you pass the FE, check out this playlist next. Step six, be aware of your thoughts. If you have negative thoughts or you have failed the FE exam before and you are afraid to fail again, it's very important that you are aware of your thoughts. One of our students, Andreza, had to really fight her negative thoughts and anxiety and she overcome it and she passed her FE exam on her second try. Now, one of the things she did is she talked to herself a lot. If you find yourself feeling overwhelmed, you can say, everything is going to be okay. I will pass my FE no matter what. It's okay to fail. I'm going to do the best I can and see what happens. Just because I failed before doesn't mean I will fail again. I got this. I don't need to do everything. I just need to make progress, even if it's slow progress. You can write these things down on your desk and just repeat them when you start feeling overwhelmed. And remember guys, you got this. I believe in all of you. Just keep studying, keep showing up, put in the effort and you will get there. You will pass your FE exam. And if you ever feel overwhelmed, feel free to reach us here. We're here to help you. Before you go, check out this playlist where I solve 90 FE problems. These are some of the most common FE questions and it will help you pass your FE exam faster. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh yeah,